there was a comparatively simple underlying structure to all this. And the classification, say, of the strongly interacting particles depended a great deal on symmetries and broken, in particular, broken symmetries, approximate symmetries that were violated. Gelman had noticed patterns which physicists can explain in terms of symmetries. And by identifying the underlying symmetries, he found he could explain the properties of the particles. According to him, protons, neutrons and the whole zoo of apparently fundamental particles were made up of just three types of basic building blocks, which he named quarks. Just the simple inspection of the uh, particle chart would suggest immediately the quark scheme. So the difficult thing was not noticing the quark scheme, that was essentially trivial. What was difficult was believing that it had any relevance.